Hello friends, this video on solutions part 31 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's see this question, really interesting question. The question says a 5% solution by mass of cane sugar in water has a freezing point of 271 Kelvin. Calculate the freezing point of 5% glucose in water if the freezing point of pure water is 273 Kelvin. So let's assume this is my pure water. Pure. Pure water. And let's suppose this is my cane sugar. Let's suppose this is my glucose because I have cane sugar, glucose and pure water. Correct. So cane sugar, the formula we know is nothing but C12 S22 O11. And glucose is C6 S12 O6. And water we know is H2O. Now it says that this is 5% by mass. This is 5% by mass. Freezing point is 271K. 271K is the freezing point. Calculate the freezing point of 5% by mass. This is also 5% by mass. And I have to find freezing point is equal to what? Freezing point of pure water is given. Is given 273.15 Kelvin. Correct. So now if you see, there are one scenario is in pure water I am adding cane sugar. There is a dip in freezing point from 273 to 271. Another case, in the pure water I am adding glucose, the black glucose and there is a dip, dip in freezing point. I have to find that. So in this question, it's assumed that the value of K is not given. We, we don't have the value of K from the chart also. Right? And but for both the case, I will have the equation Tf is equal to Kf into m. m in first case will be m of glucose, sorry, m of cane sugar, and in second case, the m will be m of glucose, that is, molarity of glucose. Correct? So, let's see the first scenario. First scenario is case 1, case 1, right? Delta Tf is how much? Or Delta Tf is Kf of water into molality of sugar. Right? So what is the uh, what is the molality of sugar? Is nothing but moles of sugar by kg of solvent that is water in kg correct so in this in this solution if you see 5% by mass that means if I have 100 gram solvent out of that 95 gram will be what water and 5 gram will be what my cane sugar correct same thing here also my 5 gram will be what glucose and my 95 gram will be what water right because it is 5 percent by mass so in this case if you see the moles of water is same because i am assuming both are 100 gram right i am assuming this is both are nine both has 95 gram of water so kg of water is same moles of sugar is something which will differ so let's put the values here First equation what I get. So from, from first equation I can actually find the value of K. So let's put the value of delta Tf is what? 273.15 was the initial temperature. Minus 271 Kelvin is the final uh, freezing point. This is nothing but Kf into moles of sugar is nothing but mass of sugar by uh, molar mass of sugar. So mass of sugar is 5 gram. What is the molar mass of sugar? So molar mass of sugar is nothing but 342 gram per mole. How? Let's find this. Cane sugar is C12 S22O11. 
so 12 is 12 into 12 is my carbon hydrogen is 22 22 hydrogen O11 11 into 16 if you add these you will get 342 gram per mole into kg of water how much kg of water 95 gram that is 95 by 1000 kg so 1000 kg so if you solve this equation actually and this is nothing but 273.15 minus 271 that is nothing but 2.15 k correct so if you solve the, the value of kf which you will get is actually 13.97 that is what you will get the value of kf gram gram will get cancelled and the unit will be what k kg per mole that is what you will get this is the value of kf of water kf of water now i have the kf of water i can easily find the second scenario so let me see what we have found till now we have found that the kf of water is 13.97 right was k kg per mole that is what we have found so in case 2 if you see the case 2 delta tf is nothing but again kf into molality of glucose because this is my case 2 glucose case so delta tf is what we have to Right, so delta D is nothing but Kf you know is 13.97 k kg per unit mole, and this m of glucose is nothing but moles of glucose by kg of solvent that is kg of water. What is the moles of glucose? Mass of glucose by molar mass. Mass we have seen is 5 gram. 5 gram. Molar mass of glucose is 180 kg per mole you can find actually 6 carbon 6 into 12 hydrogen is 12 plus 6 into 16 is oxygen it will come out to be 180 gram per mole and into kg of water kg of water is 95 gram that is 95 by 1000 kg 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 cancel per mole per mole cancel gram gram cancel so you solve this you get 4.08 and it will be kel so that is my change in freezing point right and change in freezing point is nothing but initial freezing point that is 273.15 minus final freezing point that is nothing but 4.08 4.08 so with that if we want to find the final freezing point that is nothing but 273.5 minus 4.08 that is 273.5 and that is nothing but 269.07 Kelvin and that is my answer so 273.15 pretty easy but you have to think in this case it was given that there is a pure solution there is a solution with cane sucrose there is a solution with glucose right for glucose for a given mass percentage this was the change in temperature they were asking what will be the change in temperature in case of glucose sorry it was given that for cane sugar the change in temperature is 271k for 5% solution for 5% glucose what will be the change in temperature almost similar question two elements a and b they form a compound having formula ab2 and ab4 they are two compounds actually when dissolved in 20 gram of benzene this is my pure benzene 20 gram of benzene, 1 gram of AB2, this is let's suppose I dissolve AB2 here and in this case I dissolve AB4. So 1 gram of AB2 will lower the freezing point by 2.3 Kelvin. Whereas if you take 1 gram of AB4, the one in the black, it will lower the freezing point by 1.3 Kelvin. Correct. The 
molar depression constant for benzene is given here for benzene the kf value is given kf is nothing but 5.1 k kg per mole we have to find the atomic mass of a and b see the formula we know is delta tf is nothing but kf into m correct so in case one this m will be nothing but molality of compound ab2 is case one in case two the m will be nothing but molality of compound ab4 mass is given of ab2 and ab4 i can easily find the molar mass of ab1 ab2 and ab4 if i can easily find the molar mass of ab2 and ab4 then using my maths i can tell you what is the molar mass of a and b correct see if i can find the molar mass of ab2 and ab4 i can easily find the molar mass of a and b just using the mathematical equation so let's do this case 1 case 1 in this that is ab2 right delta tf is nothing but 2.3 kelvin is nothing but kf of benzene that is 5.1 k kg per mole into m molality of ab2 that is nothing but moles of ab2 by kg of solvent right m is nothing but moles of solute by kg of solvent so moles of solute is mass by molar mass right what is the mass 1 gram by molar mass we don't know m mass of ab2 we don't know right into kg of solvent how much kg of solvent it is told that in both case we are using 20 gram of benzene that is 20 by 1000 kg so if we solve this equation only i have molar mass of ab2 as a variable i get molar mass of ab2 as if we solve everything a lot of thing will get cancel actually on its own right for example k k will get cancel k g k g will get cancel right what you will get is 110.87 gram per mole that is what you will get the molar mass of ab so i have found this value now that is molar mass is 110.87 gram per mole let's do the same thing for ab4 same thing what is the change in temperature let me change color so change in temperature is 1.3 kelvin is equal to kf value will be same 5.1 k kg per mole mass of ab4 1 gram molar mass of ab4 we don't know ab4 into mass of solvent that is benzene is 20 gram given That is twenty by one thousand kg. So if we solve this equation, you get molar mass of AB four is nothing but one ninety six point one five gram per. So we have found here molar mass nothing but one ninety six point one five gram per mole. Now we have found the molar mass of AB two. and molar mass of ab4 we have to find was atomic mass of a and b so let's do that we can just do this with the quadratic equation so if you see that ab2 is 110.87 that is a plus 2b is nothing but 110.87 and ab4 mass this a plus 4 of b is nothing but 196.15 right so if you solve this equation by math 2b is nothing but if you subtract these two equation you get 2b as a number 85.28 or you solve you get b as nothing but 42.64 and unit will be gram per mole or per atom or gram per mole yeah. similarly if i have found the molar mass of b or atomic mass of b i can easily find atomic mass of a by putting in this value so if we put 
b in this equation we get a plus 2 of b that is 42.64 is nothing but 110.87 you solve this you get a as 25.59 gram per so that becomes atomic mass so atomic mass becomes for this is uh, a is 25.59 gram and for b is 42.64 gram the question says at 300 kelvin the temperature is 300 kelvin 36 gram of glucose so let's suppose this is my 36 gram glucose present in 1 liter of solution the solution is 1 liter let's suppose in this i am adding 36 gram of glucose i get this the osmotic pressure is 4.98 Again, it says that if the osmotic pressure of the solution is 150, another um, solution, osmotic pressure is 1.52 bar, what would be the concentration of glucose? So, glucose is how many grams? That's what it says. So, in both cases, temperature is, temperature is 300 kilogram. So, if you see, the formula, we know that osmotic pressure is nothing but C R T C is my molarity, right? Correct. What is C? C is nothing but moles per unit volume. R T. Right. So if you see in uh, both these scenarios, right? Volume is same. Correct. Value of R is same. Correct. Temperature is same in both cases, right? Three hundred Kelvin. The only thing is that is differing means the moles, right? I can say that. Partial pressure is directly proportional to moles in this case. So I can say that partial pressure 1 by partial pressure 2 is nothing but moles of 1 by moles of 2. Correct? And moles is nothing but mass 1 by molar mass. And this is also mass 2 by molar mass. But if you talk about these two scenarios, the molar mass are both the same because both are glucose, right? This is also glucose. This is also glucose. So this is also same. So I can say that pressure 1 by pressure 2 is nothing but mass 1 by mass 2. Or let's put the value. What is the pressure 1? Pressure 1 is 4.98 bar. What is the pressure 2? 1.52 bar. What is the mass 1? 36 gram. What is the mass 2? Let's suppose x. Right? You solve this, you get x as 36 gram into 1.52 by 4.98. The whole thing is gram actually. This is what you will get, the uh, amount of glucose that is there. But the question is, is what is the concentration that is asking for the molarity. Right? Molarity of this solution. So I have, I have to find the molarity. So molarity is C. C is nothing but moles per unit volume. That is mass by molar mass of solute per unit volume of solvent. And solvent volume is 1 liter given. So you will see that. We will put the value. Mass is this value we have calculated 36 into 1.52 in by 4.98 gram. Molar mass of glucose we know is 180 and volume is 1. So you solve this, you get 0 0.061. The concentration of this solution is 0 0.061 molarity, capital M molarity. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.